From anatomy to anesthesiology, from pathology to pharmacology, from microbiology to medicine, a one-man resource to the world of health sciences. Welcome to Dr. Paul's Medical Lectures. A practicing physician, Dr. Paul offers you essential insights on diseases afflicting millions of people around the world. For today's lecture, here is Dr. Paul. Okay, folks. Today I want to discuss a few minutes about uh, osteomyelitis. As uh, first of all, you see, osteomyelitis is basically infection of the bone. And most commonly, the most common organism that causes it, this condition is Staphylococcus aureus. I mean, there are situations like an open injury to the bone, such as an open fracture that ends piercing the skin, or sometimes infection coming from other places in the body like pneumonia or urinary tract infection could bring bacteria into the vicinity of the bone and uh, starts osteomyelitis. And sometimes even uh, minor trauma or poor dentition, like then in a patient with the poor dentition, the bacteria uh, starts traveling in the bloodstream and uh, reaches the bone and cause osteomyelitis. The other thing you can think of is uh, chronic wound infections, like chronic wound infections also cause osteomyelitis. So osteomyelitis is a common condition and there are uh, certain risk factors like people with diabetes, people with uh, uh, heme on and hemodialysis or weak immune systems, people with sickle cell disease or intravenous drug abuse or even elderly patients. So they present with, they are at more risk for osteomyelitis and the symptoms they usually come with are pain in the infected area or the swelling and fever, nausea, drainage of pus. So in this x-ray, I mean, we can see some of the most basic features of osteomyelitis. You take a close look at the tip, you can see that cortical thinning. That's very commonly seen. You see, that cortical thinning is a uh, it, it is an indication, it's a clear sign of osteomyelitis. Thanks for listening. For more medical videos, please visit us at www.drpaul.org and take time to browse through hundreds of health videos we regularly post on our site. If you are preparing for USMLE, PLAB, and other medical exams, make sure you visit our website to browse through our videos explaining the essential points you need to know before taking these examinations. For more information, visit us at www.drpaul.org. Thank you, and may God richly bless you.